Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. So if you missed the last few episodes, as always, watch them before watching this one, because the plot actually matters in this game. Yep. Marty and Marty are back for more Turnabout Goodbyes and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So we finished the first trial period, and as of right now, Marty's theory is that Lada shot a gun to trigger her yeah. own camera going oh, off. Yeah. The guy in the boat who died was like, Edgeworth, let's party! Like, did a party popper. And then either Larry Butts or Von Karma, dressed in a Gordy costume, swam to the boat, killed the guy, and then swam back. And then also put the gun in um, Edgeworth's hand, so that way it would look like he did it, with the fingerprints. But here's the thing, Edgeworth would see that. Like, Edgeworth, Edgeworth, Edgeworth would wouldn't have, okay, but Edgeworth wouldn't be like, oh yes, I saw Gordy, he'd just be like, oh, it was a weird night. Like, you know, he wouldn't say anything. Yeah, he would. Alright, okay, December 26th, day after Christmas, detention center visitor's room. Alright. Maya! Hey! Nick, it's you! I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy music in the prison. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Whew! Oh, and he wanted me to get the ball bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess that I'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? <laughs> Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm, she sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. It's gonna be hard since you're the one who can channel her. That's true. Well, you can just look in the mirror. No, but, okay, when Maya, when Maya channels Mia, Maya basically, like, her consciousness, like, disappears briefly. Oh, that's weird. The guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Oh, that's it. Alright. Must be nice, Nick. You can just show that to anyone and say, I'm a lawyer! But spirit mediums, well... I don't know. With your clothes, I bet at least some people would recognize you. But these are medium and training clothes. I wonder if I'll ever be a proper medium. Well, maybe with the thing around her neck. Hi, mother. Now that I've shown her the picture, I'm not so sure it was the right thing to do. No, I'm pretty sure it was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Hey, look. Sorry, I'm fresh out of ideas. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. December 26th, right in company law offices. Sure is quiet here with no one be nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Alright, uh Rosebird. <laughs> Why not? He really needs a new painting. <laughs> yeah, the way, like, or just paint the, the wall. Yeah, look at how Or just the dust wall the rest of the wall. <laughs> Apparently Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. What a shame. Well, I guess I can come back tomorrow if I need anything. I mean it is Christmas break, so. Yeah. Uh, Let's go to the criminal affairs department. Yeah. December 26th, police department, criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe's not here. Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Interesting. Gord Lake entrance. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. 
There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Answer, probably. I would wonder, say most likely. I wonder if there's corn dogs for sale. Samurai dogs, samurai Marty. Dogs. Samurai Sorry. dogs. December 26th, Gord Lake, Public Beach. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off pain through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonce. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I wonder if she's camping still illegally. <laughs> December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. Oh. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The, the trial today, it, er... Uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say, good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Er, thanks. That was weird. Tomorrow's trial. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses! <laughs> That's like stupid. the shortest flashback ever. I was wondering who the other witness was. Uh, who was it? Oh, it was probably the one that they were hiding for a while. Remember? Yeah. Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a lawyer, and him being scared of earthquakes, it all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Poor dude. Like, that would do it to anyone. Yeah, probably. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seen her getting dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? <laughs> he was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm gonna head back to the sit station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh wait, um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. I mean, Alright, pal. Well, sense. don't forget to pick her up, okay? Also, he's so stylish, she probably has a lot of money. That's true. Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> Let's move to the car! Oh, we can't. No, unfortunately. Oh. We can't get inside Wada's car. Well, we could look at it. It's not... They have, like, rules on tinting windows. You could probably see inside it. Yeah, maybe. And be like, is there a gun in here? Is there a Gordy <laughs> costume in here? <laughs> December 26th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Hey, Nick! You finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean! They were like, okay, so what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal! Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him! We've got to win this case, Nick! Yeah. We I don't. Talk? I don't think there's anything new to say. Oh, yes. there is. What do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. I, I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good a bet as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. Really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. Let's go. Alright. No, not examine. But I wanted to look at the camera. <laughs> it just has to always like smile through the camera. Oh, oh, hang on. 
I think the chief says something different in every case. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Rook to bishop seven? Checkmate! I don't believe it! He must be playing chess on the computer. That's great. <laughs> Does the other detective say something? The detectives here are usually pretty funny. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Don't do anything rash! Why jump? You have every reason to live! He must be doing image training for talking down a potential suicide. Oh, that got dark. Let's yeah. get out of here. December 26th, Gordon Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around here today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lotta! Y'all really did it today. But what did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realize that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to my mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Oh, interesting. What did you think of the trial? be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though it didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right! You mean the first time you witness a murder. <laughs> what about Gordy? Right! Well, the way I figure, trial's only stocking up flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket started. Alright, Lotta! You go, girl! I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too! Finish your spirit medium training first! <laughs> Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see? Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What?! That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it! See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. I exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I proposed a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend! Uh... Hey! I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face! Let me tell you, the most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? <laughs> I like how she's, like, defending her people, but she's like, I know I'm stupid, but we're all stupid! <laughs> well, what'll it be? We got a deal or not? What do we do, Nick? Deal yeah, or no deal? deal. <laughs> Isn't that a game show or something? I think so, yeah. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of dealing with you. Oh, wow, Phoenix! Nor do we have any money anyway. You guys make a fine team, you know that? And I can tell you you don't have any money. Just look at those clothes! Wow! I'm wearing a fancy blue suit with a pink tie on, you know. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information! Oh, oh, so that actually matches up. <laughs> you can't decline. We don't have any of our leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker! I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Gordy? But, but Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist! Then bring me proof that shows he doesn't! Uh... I'll be keeping watch from my car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Uh, okay. Right. See y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's go hunting! H hunting You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do! What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? 
Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Let's go swimming! Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? <laughs> no, we're going swimming, man. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> December 26th, Gordon Lake, Public Beach. What? What's that? The, the Steel Samurai, Nick! Yo, Maya! Larry? What the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Kiyotse's idea. She was all, if you not put this here, it'll be like really cool, you go girlfriend. Dude, she gave me it along with the banner. Wow! That really impressive, it's really impressive she can find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got them for free. Right. <laughs> he looks happy. Also, his sleeves are too long. Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm a mere seller of hot dogs. Oh, okay. Oh no, hang on. Oh, I, I thought he was gonna be like, Whoa, who's the girl in the photo? Oof. Oh, really? Come on! Try the Gordy one. That's the guy that's selling my dogs faster than I can cook them! Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think somebody probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth's out! <laughs> of course, Larry. He's sweating like crazy. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry! Did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes! He acts like a little boy! Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a year. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. <laughs> hey, Larry, what was that big thing up there before? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids! Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The... The compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, a while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. Here I thought you'd inflate it by yourself. With his air. Okay, at first when I saw him moving like with his hand, I thought it was like a cup. Oh, he was oh. like, hey! Pick everybody, please. Everybody loves to drink. <laughs> Doesn't that Steel Samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. It's also robotic. I guess it's good advertising. No, it's like a giant inflatable balloon, basically. Oh. <laughs> Something about the Steel Samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Hmm. Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. <sighs> oh man, if Cody came back, that'd be great. Um... Boat Rental Shop! December 26th, Boat Rental Shop. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. That's a shame. I was hoping that there'd be a cool boat rental person. You do want a big boat? That's pretty much every boat rental person. They're like, alright, you want a boat? That'll be five dollars. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Oh! Oh! I wonder if the witness is the boat rental shop person. Oh, that's I mean, that's possible. I mean, they probably would have seen the murder. If, if they, um, rented a boat at night. Assuming that Edgeworth wasn't like, Dude, let's steal the boat. And then just, like, went out on the lake. Yeah. December 26th, Gordon Lake Woods. Hey, y'all. Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Um, no. Nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It's a little chilly. I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa! No, you don't! No sneezing! What? You! <laughs> I told you no sneezing! See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bit. It 
trigger on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's next, but what about my film? Nick, hey, the lady. <laughs> <laughs> I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. This was today? Yeah. This is later on today? Oh my gosh. This is a hard job, apparently. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa! Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'd trade it for the dirt on Gordy. Oh boy. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. A UFO. A UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. You can tell this was not really America because they call it university. University! Going to university? I don't know about that. Let's examine the camera. A lot of cameras staring out at the lake as usual. Can we steal a photo of like, <laughs> Naya sneezing? <laughs> Even if a novice like me can tell that that camera must have cost a pretty penny. Uh, Maya sneezed and then I took pictures of the lake, not of oh. Naya. That would be great if it took pictures of Naya. <laughs> 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 no one sneezes like that. Is there fun out? I, ho I hope she doesn't leave it out here to get stolen. That'd suck. What's that weird tarp over the bloop? Over the bloop? I actually bloop. don't know. <laughs> Let's move. Alright. Let's go to the criminal affairs department. December 26th, police department, criminal affairs. Hey there, pal! What's up? You look out of sorts? Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Andrew's case again? What do you mean, AGAIN? <laughs> Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. <laughs> yeah, gumshoe don't make a lot. I think it's a little early for you to be proudly waving that thing around. You can be proud of yourself when you get Mr. Edgeworth declared innocent, pal. Huh? At least he said something. Sorry to disappoint you, pal. I'm drawing a blank. I don't care who you are, no one can tell me that that's Mr. Edgeworth. I mean, come on, it doesn't look like him at all! Yeah. But Edgeworth has admitted he was on that boat. Dude, he's the one being shot then! He seemed fine in court today. Details, pal, details! Whose side are you on, anyway? All I'm saying is we oh. have to respect the Esbeth. Edgeworth is wearing a bulletproof vest at all times. <laughs> like Doc Brown. Sure. Yeah, like Doc Brown, exactly. <laughs> that woman really took us for a ride, didn't she? Claiming she was a witness to a murder and all. Still, if it weren't for her photograph, Mr. Edgeworth wouldn't have made it today. Oh, huh? Really? Um, you were at the trial, weren't you, detective? <laughs> oh. Robert Hammond. He was the defense attorney in the DL6 incident trial. He's the one who got the sole suspect off the hook. I wonder what Mr. Edgeworth thinks of him. Not much, I'd wager. Oh, boy. Yep, it was fired from the murder weapon, without a doubt. From a meter away, so it would have to have been from someone else on the boat. Hmm. Or Gordy. What do you make of this, Detective Gumshoe? Hey, make it something fiends is your job! Uh, right. Since when do lawyers have to do detectives work for them? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an annoying thing about mm. the case. Maybe you should tell me why Mr. Edgeworth's prints were on the weapon, pal. Huh? How should I know? Now she heard two gunshots, right? But wait, look at the court record. According to this, the murder weapon was fired three times. What? How's that possible? Where, where was the third shot fired? I wonder. Maybe it was a practice shot or something. Right, because we can't tell when it was shot. How is the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. 
And the guy who got the lone, the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim of this case, Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. I doubt it. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Edgeworth. Gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Gordy! Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down at Gord Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your mind? Ah! You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick! Try telling him sooner next time! You were the one who told him, Maya! <laughs> er, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay! I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. What? Really? Oh, yes, this part's great! <laughs> you can take whichever one you like. Wait, we get to pick? Yep. Okay, give us the goods! Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. M missile He's a canine police dog, still in training. Oh my god! Missile, Missile, here boy. <laughs> here he is. He's so cute! A cute dog. And this will help us how? It's a police dog! <laughs> Next, secret weapon number two. A fishing pole! Here, this is my own personal rod. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal! Okay, this one is the last one. No, please, I'm already <laughs> overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right? How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know, it might have been eating soda cans. <laughs> well, which one would be? <laughs> um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. <laughs> Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Alright, which do you want? I'm sure you want the dog. I want the dog, but I don't know if it's the right choice! We can come back okay. and swap later, okay. if we don't get Okay, because I, right. like, I feel like the fishing pole's outrageous, but it could work. And then the metal detector also is outrageous, but it could work. Alright, can, <laughs> can we borrow a missile? Sure thing, pal! Be good to him! Ah, he's so cute! Oh boy. <laughs> Borrowed canine unit missile from Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> I want a canine unit. <laughs> Actually, I was when in my class this year, I met a dude who was like in charge of a dog during the Vietnam War. Oh. And nice. I got to see pictures of his dog. It was so cool. This the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Missile's a big star in criminal affairs. Why is he named Missile? Huh? Now that you mention it, I'm not sure. But I hear he's aptly named for what it's worth. Oh, he probably, like, charges random things. <laughs> ruff! Ruff, ruff! Let's take him to the detention center. Oh. December 26th, detention cell, visitor's room. Looks like Edgeworth isn't questioning. Let's come back later. Guess so. Let's go to the be- Oh, never mind. Ah, fresh air! I gotta say, freedom feels great! Behave yourself in the courtroom now tomorrow, okay? <laughs> this behaving's much more fun. It's not going to be so much fun when Edgeworth refuses to pay your bail again. Right, I'll behave. Oh dear. Alright, we gotta present the dog to Maya. Don't waste time showing me things! We have to get cracking on this case! You know the enemy has more tricks up his sleeve? He's bringing in another witness! Aw, I thought but she would- the dog! I'm just imagining, like, Phoenix Wright holding the dog and he's like, Woof woof! And it's like, I don't want the dog! <laughs> Oh, I was hoping Grossberg would be here and we could show him the dog, but no. Let's go back to the... to the... never mind. Well, that's the annoying thing. Hey. We can't always go to the beach from every place. That is annoying. Let's show it to Larry. 
Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, oh right. That little creature of yours. Hey, I love little doggies! Good boy, good boy! Ah! Is he gonna kill him? What's wrong, Missile? Eek! Missile! Missile! <laughs> oh, he's eating all the hot dogs. Whoa! whoa stop that thing! C cannibal! It's eating my samurai dogs! <laughs> I was like, is he eating Larry alive? Oh, sorry, bud! My samurai dogs! <laughs> Wow, he ate every single one! I'm sorry, Larry. SORRY! SORRY DON'T PAY MY BILLS, NICK! Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> it's gonna have to t this time. Aw, <laughs> oh, dang it, we shouldn't have taken the dog. Hey, Larry! Look, it's Missile! Isn't he cute? Keep that mud away from me! What am I going to tell the big boss? There's a big boss in charge of your hot dog stand? Nick, you stand as a threat for the Mafia money slandering scheme. Maya, I think you should probably try to look a little sorry about what happened. Oh, right. <laughs> My poor dogs. I, I do feel bad for Larry about that one. I feel bad. Did you know that was going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Dang it! <laughs> Let's take this little Maya. <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> She's probably like, I'm allergic to dogs! Like, waste your film. Hey, Lana! Oh, cute! He yours? He's a canine police dog! His name's Missile! Huh. Canines are the ones they used to sniff out for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. That's it. <laughs> yep, I'd have to say I know every exactly squat about that. It's your own deposition! It's painfully easy to know when something doesn't catch Lada's interest. Um, uh, you know, I was wondering. Yeah? What if you get a picture of Gordy and it turns out like this enlargement did? Y'all crazy! A blurry picture like this doesn't make a hit story! I need a picture that screams, I am Gordy! Hear me roar! I can't turn something like this into a paper! What kind of fool do y'all think I am? The kind of fool that would turn a blurry picture in as evidence in a murder trial? <laughs> Not to mention claiming she saw something she didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, yeah, a lot of that was really dumb of you. Alright, we kinda gotta go Bye. back. We gotta yeah. go back, get one of the other tools. Actually, we reached the half-hour mark, so that's probably as good a spot as any to s Well... I'm trying to think. We have... We have a decent amount of... it. Yeah, I think we can stop here okay. and do the rest next episode. So, right. thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. No, I, I did want to save the game and suspend play. I thought it defaulted to yes. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless.